Abir, what's the latest on the Israeli military operations to recover the bodies? Good morning, Francine. So we, you know, we just reported this. This is an overnight military operation where Israel just announced that they have recovered the bodies of six male hostages uh, from Khan Yunis in northern Gaza. One of them is a 79-year-old who is thought to have been uh, killed during captivity by Hamas. So Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli prime minister, came out in a statement and said that Israel is going to make every effort uh, to bring back the remaining hostages, whether dead or alive. Now, we know that out of the remaining hostages um, in Gaza, uh, 40 are believed to be dead. Uh, but the efforts continue. As you mentioned, uh, Antony Blinken is heading to Egypt uh, today after he was in Israel, where, where he had conversations with Netanyahu to sort of reach uh, the ceasefire deal. Abir, Blinken has just arrived also in Egypt. What's the status of these ceasefire talks? So, you know, we heard yesterday that in, on Sunday when he was in Israel and met with the prime minister that Israel has agreed to a ceasefire deal, but what remains now is the acceptance of Hamas. So what we're waiting for right now is to, re, you know, for Hamas leaders to come back and say whether they accept the terms or not. We know that Hamas leaders did not participate in the last round of uh, ceasefire talks that happened in Doha. We're not fully aware of the details about whether they'll be present in Egypt or not. Uh, but what we're waiting for, essentially, is to hear back from Hamas leaders uh, on whether the deals that were called by uh, Blinken, uh, a bridging uh, agreement, uh, are going to get reached in Egypt by the end of this week or not.